we pledge allegiance to the things that matter, like decreasing the recidivism rate fast and several other factors. Let me paint a picture for you out of capture. You can get a dime for a nonviolent crime. That's just how it's engineered. And for clarification purposes, the dime is 10 years. So what's one to do when a felony interferes over and over again? You can't even start a career. I'm an advocate for employment after prison. That's a fact. And mitigating drug laws like the Second Chance Act, the Second Youth Foundation exists to bridge the gap for the prison population. That slipped right through the cracks. Oh, and here after you, we invest in the individual. Now listen to what I'm giving you. I never went to college, got a bachelor's, but I lived the equivalent of a master's. And with a criminal history, we're still going to dominate the fitness industry. Ask Guadalupe, it's no mystery. From jails to jobs, creating the best personal trainers. And I pledge my freedom as a wager to the naysayers, legislators, policymakers, and haters. And y'all can quote that verbatim. The United States has the highest incarceration rate. Maybe because we don't rehabilitate. Or create alternative and better opportunities for those living in high crime communities. This is an issue that lacks ingenuity, lacks congruency, and lacks public scrutiny. It's time to shed some light on this goddamn buffoonery. Is society's perception an accurate reflection of us? Or merely a projection of black and Latino brothers? Is it better to ask for forgiveness than permission? Or get punished for being honest about a conviction? Some feel it's better to hide it than lie. And that's a venture they defy. Figuring the tick box is just a filter for you to get denied. But not with the job placement that we provide. I could have been landscaping, doing construction and maintenance. But I was training before I was training. A phantom of my own opera in a prison cell doing vinyasa. Exercising Tabata before Tabata eating ramen noodle pasta post-workout watching the Shawshank saga. In any case, I woke up this morning and had to meditate. Like, what's the purpose of prison anyway? To punish, that's clear. But what about rehabilitate? That's food for thought and all that I have to say. But in this race, I'll pass the baton along the way. And believe me when I say, there's going to be a drastic change in 2019 as we pave the way.